I watched it, and the one, it, it was like, death painfully boring, right? We all know that, but it made me think to myself, it did show that if he wants to stay away, he's like a rabbit, like he could stay away. So yeah, but that, did, did the fans pay for that? No, but what I was going to ask you was, let's say he fights Tank, do you, do you see any problem at all being like, if he, he wants to stay away, like you can't catch him. It's, it's really hard to catch him. You know, but why would I put Tank in a situation like that when we can't do what we do? Because right now, if Tank don't get a knockout, it's going to, you, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If you don't, because everybody think Tank got to knock everybody out to win a fight. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You with me? Because that, that stab is on him. Still to this day, eh? So Tank has never, Tank teams never gave you an offer. Never, not one time. No PVC, no not Mayweather once. promotions, not. Not once. They're not going to. You, how you know? Because he's not in the plane. You know, we always hear about Javante Davis, how talented he is, how he beats everybody at 135 and 140. And in his fights, he does like the real deal. But if he is great as everybody says he is, you know, everybody has Javante Davis on a pound for pound list, but he doesn't, he hasn't really achieved anything. I mean, he had one big pay-per-view against Ryan Garcia and everybody thinks he's the face of boxing. Now, if you're that great, nobody can stop you from doing what you're doing. If you're that dominant and you're knocking everybody out, no one's going to stop you. It sounds like Calvin Ford is saying, Javante Davis' opponents are tailor-made for his style. Helps him produce knockouts. And it sounds like the Errol Spence and Deontay Wilder story. Maybe we should just call it the PBC story. Because Errol Spence had punching bags in front of him, then he got in front of Terrence Crawford and got destroyed. You look at Deontay Wilder, once he got in there with a real boxer like Tyson Fury, he got destroyed, and he lost to Joseph Parker in dominant fashion. Once Wilder got in there with real opponents, the knockout stopped. And Calvin Ford admitted that he does not want to put Javante Davis in that situation. And Shakur Stevenson did not look great in his last performance, but I don't think they had any plans fighting him anyway. You know, first it was a money issue. Now the Saudis, you know, Turkey al Sheikh has it all handled. Now some other excuses are coming out. The styles of Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney give Javante Davis problems. Calvin Ford says styles like that will slow us down and will stop us from doing what we usually do, and that's knocking out lower level opposition. I think facing different styles make you a better fighter. And I think that's why one of many reasons that Terrence Crawford is a better fighter than Errol Spence. Javante Davis is not gonna reach his full potential because of the opposition he's facing. But what's gonna happen is He's going to pick the wrong cherry, and he's going to lose to the wrong guy. He's going to lose to the guy that he should not lose to, and that's going to be the end of that. Calvin Ford's gravy train will come to an end. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. Let me know what you think about Calvin Ford's comments. Jay Beasy, I'm gone.